Hi there. If you're watching this video, you've probably just downloaded the Grocers Everything That You Need to Know guide. The purpose of these videos is so by the end of it, you'll be better equipped to start growing year round with your grocery container farm. So a few of the things that I want to make sure that you will understand is what you can grow, how you can distribute what you're growing, and if you can meet the installation requirements along with some of the financing or funding options and better understanding those Mm -hmm. in terms of what might be available to you. Mm -hmm. So my name is Nick Alverson. I'm Grocer's Project Development and Business Development Specialist. I'm probably going to be one of the first people that you do speak to when you're starting your grocery farming project, which is why I wanted to do these videos to give you a really good understanding of all the basic information that you might need to know before maybe booking a call with me or even just as you and I might go through the process of looking further at your farm. So the whole purpose of the guide along with these videos is we created them so you can better understand more about the grocery farms and what it takes to actually get a container farming project started. So again, my role here is solely to help people like you at the early stages of a project get a really good grasp on what it might entail to operate a successful container farming project uh, and, and arm you with the necessary information that will help both of us more efficiently plan and launch your farm together. So the way that I approach and that we all approach it here at Grocer is we look at our projects and our growers as partners. So it's really more of a partnership type of relationship. So we want to take a hands-on approach to help you get growing, essentially starting today with you watching these videos, booking a call with me, et cetera. <clears throat> and uh, we've done so uh, with over the 30 communities, organizations, businesses, farms, individuals uh, who have started container farming and who have taken advantage of our technology to grow local produce uh, year round, regardless of whatever climate that they might be in. And the end, by the end of this video, uh, you'll be one step closer, hopefully, to growing food for your own community. And that's the whole goal of it. So why don't we get started? So with Grocers, Turnkey Modular Farms, uh, we've tried to make it as easy as possible for those, regardless of their background or experience, to bring fresh produce to your community. Uh, but we have seen some common challenges, um, or at least I have, uh, with some of the that break down, I guess I should say, with three key obstacles uh, before they're able to get their project off the ground. Um, I, I do see this a lot. So not understanding what the hydroponic system can grow and how it works. So really just understanding like the cultivars and the different uh, crops that you're able to grow within the system um, and what works best and what we'd recommend. Um, not knowing how to create a business or a business model or a distribution model uh, for the produce that you grow. At the end of the day, you know, we can say you can grow a certain amount of produce, but if you don't have anywhere to um, sell it or donate it, um, then really what good is that? Uh, and then finally, not having a clear picture of what it takes to install the farm, so the requirements for your site, uh, not being aware of the support that we can offer during the, both those processes, and also understanding what financing or funding options might be available to you, depending on the type of project model that you are going through. Um, so for the next three videos, I'd like to go through a bit of a deeper dive uh, essentially into each of these obstacles or challenges that I see people deal with all the time when they're starting a project uh, to give you the information that you need to feel much more confident um, and taking that next step, uh, which might be contacting myself to really get going and start planning your project a little bit more ac uh, actively. So as of right now, you're probably trying to wrap your head around exactly how to get started on uh, doing the project. So you might have, you know, Googled us. As a lot of people say they saw us on Dragon's Den. You like the idea. Maybe you've had conversations with your local community members or grocery stores, or you generally just have a will behind you to want to start this type of project, but you might be confused on, you know, what's the first step? How do I get started? Um, from my experience, this is usually, and again, it's not linear by any means, um, but if we can walk through each of these you know, steps, if you even want to call them set out steps, um, it's going to eventually lead to you having um, the required information to make an informed decision on whether or not a container farming project with Grocer is good for you. Um, so one is, is gathering information on us so like i said you might have seen us on drags and you might have seen us on on the news article or something you might just be researching container farming in general um so doing all that and understanding the industry obviously is a, is a huge bonus and gives you a good foundation of uh, what you're going to get uh, yourself into and, and the business and the industry that you would be entering um the next step you can book a call with me um I'd be happy to discuss sort of the project idea you have. You know, I speak to a lot of people who might have this concept and maybe they just even want to feel it out with me and, and kind of test, 
you know, what my thoughts are on it. And I can give my recommendations based on past projects uh, that we've done and sort of set out next steps together. Um, some of those next steps that I would probably suggest you do is gather more details. So you might present to me a model. You might say, hey, Nick, I want you to start selling to um, neighbors or I want to start selling to a grocery store. I'll say, great, we should probably do some market analysis, uh, validate those thoughts that you have and see if there is real demand there. And if so, what is that demand look like? How many heads of lettuce is that on a weekly basis? What price? Um, how do you want to sell them? So different things like that. And I'm probably going to um, give you a lot of information, again, for gathering those details uh, around that market analysis. Um, I'll also want to go over uh, financing your project. So what funding or grants, um, potential loans might be available for you to help get your project started. Uh, that is definitely a barrier that I think some people struggle to kind of identify the right means. There are means out there for you to start your project with a solid business case or a solid business model. You will have access to that funding. It's just a matter of doing the steps in order to uh, have those conversations with lenders if that's the route you'd want to take. Uh, in terms of planning your project, so that's taking all that market analysis that you've done, uh, really refining it in terms of understanding the exact volumes of which type of varieties that you like to grow. Uh, I can give you recommendations on what I have seen that works and what doesn't work, uh, but all that to say is this is very much a, like I mentioned earlier uh, in the videos, uh, is a, it's a partnership, so it's something that I want to help you really get a good understanding on um, to be able to build that solid business case so that if there is a potential uh, financing opportunity or funding opportunity that you'd be ready with a really solid plan that you just need to put into motion and put funding behind. Um, something, of course, of, of paramount importance would be the site preparation. So do you have access to uh, a space enough that suits the actual container farm itself? Do you have access to the required power? Do you have access to a water source? Things like that. Uh, we can then the next step would be to understand uh, what we offer in terms of the installation and the training. Um, basically, beyond that, uh, you have your first harvest, basically when the grocery technicians would leave your site after that installation and training process. And then basically for the lifetime of your farm, you would have ongoing training <clears throat> and support in the form of a uh, farm success or customer success manager uh, that's there to be by your side, essentially along the way as you uh, embark on the endeavor of a, of a container farming project. So all that being said is with this series, I wanna walk you through what you need to know to overcome uh, the, the three main obstacles that I mentioned earlier, as well as basically go step-by-step step through uh, the things on this slide that show um, the general, or I guess more common steps in terms of getting your project off the ground. Um, by all means, you can book a call with me uh, throughout the process, I'm here to help. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out as, like I said, it is my role here. Um, and I just want to say again, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to learn more. Uh, there's three more videos after this. Um, so go ahead and click on to the next video. And that's going to cover some of the many different ways that you can use a grocery farm. And you might be a little bit surprised. Thanks.